What is going on guys welcome back in this video today we're going to learn how to use R in Python so how we can run sections of R code within Python. So let us get right into it. Alright, so for those of you who don't know what R is, R is a statistical programming language. So a programming language focusing on pure and advanced statistics, as well as data analysis and data visualization, not so much on advanced machine learning, deep learning, it's also not a general purpose language, it's a language that is primarily used when you go into pure statistics and when you need some professional high quality packages because R has a vast ecosystem of very professional and powerful packages for statistical computing and for data analysis using statistical methods. Um, and the thing is oftentimes you want to use R but you don't want to use R only you want to use R maybe in Python and this is what we're going to learn how to do today. On this channel I already have a video where I show you how to use Python in R Today, we're going to do it the other way around. Now for this video, I'm not going to show you how to install R, I'm going to assume that you have R already running on your system, I'm only going to show you how to use it in Python. So what you need for this is a package called rpy2. So pip install rpy2 like this. And this package basically allows us to use R in Python in a very simple way. So we're going to do a couple of imports here, we're going to start by saying import rpy2 dot r objects as r objects then we're going to import um now it's lagging come on before that we're going to import pandas as pd because the idea what we're going to do here today is a very simple example of using uh, i hope i pronounce it correctly uh dplyr uh in r and to get then the result of this data frame and to get it back into pandas or to, to get it into pandas in the first place uh, so that we can continue working with it in Python, just as a simple example here. Uh, so import rpy2, or actually from rpy2.robjects, we're going to import pandas to ri, and then from rpy2.robjects.packages, we're going to also import import r, so that we can import r packages. Um, and we're going to start by saying pandas to ri.activate. And then we're going to do some basic imports, we're going to import the utils package. So for those of you who, don't, uh, who know how R works, you basically just use the R command. So in R, you would say library, and then the package name here, you just say import R, and the utils package, for example, and we're also going to import uh, dplyr. Again, I hope I pronounced it correctly. This is basically the pandas of R. And this is what we're going to use here to do some processing. And then we're going to get the result into a pandas data frame. Um, so that we can keep working in Python. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to use R objects R to run some R code. And here we're going to just load a data set in R. In R, you load a data set by saying data and then the name of the data set. And in our case here, we're going to load the basic iris data set, the hello world of data science, basically. Um, with this data set, now we're going to do some very basic processing. So I'm going to say here, R objects R, and we're going to just, um, First of all, of course, let's use a multi line string here. We're going to just load dplyr and we're going to do some very basic summarization and averaging of the length and the width of the um, parameters here. So we're going to say here library dplyr and then we're going to say iris summary, for example, and then we're going to use this arrow key for assignment. And now we're going to pipe um, the data here. So we're going to use percent. And then well, basically this pipe operator here from dplyr. Uh, and we're going to group by species. Now you need of course to know how the data set is structured. I, I just know this and I've prepared the code here. So I know this. If you don't know this, you have to look up the documentation or you have to play around with R. Uh, basically, you can also work in R and just copy paste the code here into into the string here. Um, or you can load it from a file. And then we're going to summarize this now. Um, in the following way, we're going to say average uh, sepal, I hope this is how it's pronounced length is equal to the mean of this length. And then we're going to do the same thing with the width is equal to the mean of the width. 
So this is now basically our R code. This is what you would also run in R Studio if you were programming in R. Now you want to get this, this resulting iris summary here, you want to get this as a pandas data frame. So what we do here is we say iris summary is equal and then we say pandas to our i and then just the package, uh, not the package, the function rpy to pi. So we convert this to a Python object to a pandas data frame and we get the object called uh, actually not like this, but like this um, iris summary. So we get from this dictionary here, um, this iris summary data frame. And then we can print the iris summary. And we can also print the type of the iris summary so that we can see it's actually a pandas data frame. And when I run this here, you can hopefully see there you go. This is a pandas data frame. That is the result of running only our code, we didn't import any data set here in Python. Actually, we don't even need pandas here. Uh, of course, you need pandas installed. But yeah, um, you can see that we didn't do any Python imports, we didn't load any data here, we didn't do anything, everything was done in R, and then we used what R produced, and we work with it in Python. So this is how you can use R inside of Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.